Hi, this is Christy with Giba Custom Apparel. Today I'm going to show you how to shorten a zip separating zipper. Separating zippers can come in the plastic coil version. They can come in a metal version. This is just pieces that I have. And um, the thing about them, obviously, is they've got the bottom stops and they've got the, the top stops. And as you can imagine, it's a lot easier to shorten it from the top. So what we're gonna do is measure it. So I need this zipper to be 12 inches in length. So you wanna measure from the bottom metal to the top, 12 inches. I need my chalk. There we go. So I'm gonna shorten it right there. So what we want to do is start by pulling our zipper slider down so that it's out of the way. You don't want to have it on the other side because then you'll have to get it in there. Now all of these teeth have to be removed. So you can do this a few different ways. First thing you want to start by doing is removing the stop right here. So if you can, if you can remove it nicely, you can actually keep it and reuse it. So this is why I have all of these tools right here because if you use the sharp nose pliers to start with, you can separate it and then use your needle nose to pull it off. And now I'm gonna be able to reuse that. I will do the same thing with this one. There we go. See, it's got those prongs there, we pull those out. very gently pry this off. So there we go, we've got that one as well. Next, we're going to take all of these coils off. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, some people like to go at it with a knife and slice through it. Now, as you can see, I have a cut here. I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm a little clumsy. So what I'm gonna do, is pull off all of these teeth as gently as I can. You just kind of work them off. You can snip through them. And then you're going to pull from the other side pull these teeth out. And we're going to do that for the whole length of the zipper down to where we need it to be. It's definitely handy to have a pair of snips that you can actually cut through these as opposed to trying to pull them off. Now, really, when you have that much of a zipper, we could have just snipped it off um, using some non-fabric non shears. But we're just going to finish this up. So. Try to be as gentle on the fabric as you can so you don't get too much fraying, but... If you do, and it's a nylon zipper, you can always run a lighter over it really quick to get rid of any of the fraying. There we go, so that one's where I want it to be. Just finish up on this side. All right, and from there, remember how we managed to save our little stops? You can actually take those stops and use them here. So you're gonna need your needle nose pliers for this. There we 
go. Now we'll just tighten that up. Don't want it to go anywhere. Do the same thing for the other side. Now, of course, if you don't have stops, you can um, you can buy them, but you can also use a needle and thread. So what I'm going to do here on this side, let's just go around it with a needle and thread. Now I'm using black, which normally you probably wouldn't do here. But for contrast, all right, so now as you can see, my zipper is nice and shortened. Obviously, I can cut these off where I need them to be. I just want to leave a little bit of extra length for when you're finishing. As you can see, this is a lot nicer than this, but if you use the same color, it'll work. Now, that's how you do it with a plastic coil zip. A metal zip isn't a whole lot different. Um, this is just a piece of a metal zip that I had cut off, but uh, I will show you how to remove the teeth here. So I'm using my blunt pliers here. Just snip that off. And you just kind of, again, want to work it off. Um, another thing you can do is if you can grasp the very head, sometimes you can snip them open as well. Again, just going to take your time, be as nice as possible to the fabric, and just pull that off. Um, it does work better when you take that head off, or at least it works better for me when I take that head off of the zip. There we go. And then you just keep removing those again until you get to that length that you had wanted. So there you go. You can shorten, shorten any of your separating zippers like this. Well, thank you and enjoy making your Goober P Designs quadra jacket. I look forward to seeing what you've made.